What are you leaving on the table? What if you truly allowed yourself to tap into the potential that you don't even realize that you have yet? What could you be capable of? The problem isn't that you haven't figured out a system, tactic, or offer that's gonna grow your business or make you more money. The problem is that you're too stuck in your own head trying to figure things out to see what's already there and use it to connect to your dream clients. You're stressed, frustrated, disappointed, and maybe even losing your steam a little bit. Many people going through this shift in their business think that they need to create or reinvent their brand. But trying to go in and fix things whenever you get worried or frustrated isn't what's going to move you into the next phase of your business. The one you really need to be moving toward. The true power lies in knowing that all the real magic, the stuff that makes a really wondrous brand is already there. You just don't see it yet. And you cannot articulate it to others if you don't see what's really there. The hardest part about stepping into your potential is not knowing what that potential really is. It's time to trust in the process that's going to give you the confidence to finally step into that unrealized potential. I know this because I've helped so many other women realize the incredible potential that was already there. They just didn't know it. They came to me to bring out their voice or to help them shape their story and give their messaging a foundation. But they always end up saying they got so much more out of the process than they ever expected to. They get the brand individuation process, my signature process for articulating a brand and how to position it to your dream clients. Clients I've done this for say that it completely changes their lives not just their business, like my own. She came to me as a social media manager who was shifting to serve mothers, especially those with children on the autism spectrum. She knew that she needed a brand story that she could share with the people who needed her, entrepreneur moms like her. After jumping in and trusting me with the brand individuation project, she got so much more than she expected. I'm about to cry because one, I wasn't expecting all of this. <laughs> like when I was watching some of the videos in the group, I was like, well, I don't know what to say. Like, you know, I would just talk about what I do, but like the brand purpose and the, you know, I keep phrases like I wouldn't have really thought about that, those items at all. And so with you sharing this with me and you doing this, it's like, I'm trying to figure out why everyone doesn't do this when they're talking about building their business. My own got a new belief in herself, a new realization about how powerful her story and her vision really were. First of all, I was not expecting all of that. So the platform people do amazing. The fact that I, like you know me, but you really know me when you're describing me and my people. Cool. This was amazing. I, I promise you, I did not expect this. <laughs> and it's like, okay, she'll do my brand voice and you know, it'll be good. Like she writes good, so she'll write me something good. But I did not expect this. Her transformation was so powerful that we both got emotional over the outcome and she continues to grow and share her wonder with others. Women who need her to share it. Like I have to go practice saying this myself without crying, number mm -hmm. one. Maybe it's do, but no, no super cry. And then I'm thinking, like, okay, what day am I gonna go promote uh, Amber Brooks on? Because so many other women have had similar experiences and transformations. Sarah, a web designer and a business coach for her own business, Create Your Laptop Life, and even the ClickFunnels 2 Comma Club X, 
came to me for help with her brand voice as well. She was going through an enormous shift in her business and knew it was time to step up into her brand. She felt like something was missing in her messaging. So she decided to go through the brand individuation process and get super clear in her messaging with new web copy as well. Sarah says what she got out of her guide was incredibly valuable. Diving into, um, you know, what are your keywords and what are, you know, who are your people? Where do they hang out? Like, these are all things people want to know. That all seems like duh information to me. Like, of course I'd want to know that. Do I know how to get it? Not really. <laughs> like, that's, yeah. I don't like, you know, and then you're like, oh, we're going to do an ask campaign. Oh, well, that sounds good. I didn't think about that you know, kind of an idea. And, and then you guide the process for gathering the exact information that you want to get from your demographic, because you gave me certain questions to ask, which guided you to give me the answers we were looking for. But I wouldn't have even known the questions to ask mm -hmm. to get the answers you were looking for. So um, I think that's, that's really helpful. But after the process was complete, she realized what was missing was really much more than her voice. What was missing was her calling, her purpose, her passion. And she'd held back on letting that shine because she didn't know if she was ready. She wasn't sure because she didn't know that her people already connected to it and her and needed to see it. Now I look back at mine and that third chunk about like that faith and family and morals and ethics, like that's really important to my people. Yeah. Like that's really good to know. I mean, that to me, that's like invaluable information right now moving into this next phase of life because it's given me the confidence to enter into my calling because I'm realizing that what I am called to do is already in alignment with the people that are following me. This is not me reinventing myself. They were following me already. I didn't realize why. Mm -hmm. And now that I realize that what I'm giving to them is actually in alignment with both of us, that this is actually important to me and it's important to them, it allows me to even more confidently step forward into being who I am, which will reach even more people. Exactly. So you got to trust this. It just gives you that confidence to step into it in a way that I did not have before. The process helped her realize that the same things she held dear to her were important to her ideal clients as well. Knowing the key ties between them really solidified her vision and decision to move into the direction and vision she was so nervous to step into. But whatever you see in me, Amber, I see in you. Aww. Okay, so I'm gonna flip the switch for I'm gonna flip the switch for a second because I would not be where I am without the brand individuation guide. And so if you're sitting there in your chair thinking, I don't know what I have, you have been my fuel and foundation to be able to go on to that next level of greatness and what you have done for me can hopefully impact even more based on me feeling confident with my work with you to step into that role. And if I didn't, if I'm not going to step there and help other people, I mean, how, how, how much am I leaving on the table? And I wouldn't even be thinking of that if I hadn't worked with you. There'd be so much left on the table right now. And that's not right. Women especially don't give themselves nearly enough credit or allow themselves to step into their true calling. We don't like to brag. We don't like attention. We don't like to believe we're really even as worthy as we are sometimes. There is something happening and there is a movement coming and I don't know what it is. This falls into the category of I can feel it. Like I get tingly feeling and I'm not even, I'm like, I, I joke, I'm third eye blind, but there is something coming and it's gonna need people like you to build up all the people like me who don't know what we're doing don't think we have a voice and you're the person that can see it and we need you and if I didn't have you I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing and I feel like what I'm doing is going to help people. <laughs>
and I could not do this without you. And I truly believe that I'm meant to do something, but I wouldn't believe that if it wasn't. But it's really not just about us as women being resistant to stepping into our own strength. A lot of times, even when we do give ourselves permission to step into our true calling, we really struggle because we are too close to ourselves and to our clients to see the deeper, more meaningful, more valuable pieces that are already there. Lori was having the same struggle. She knew that she was more talented, experienced, and invested in her clients than so many people in her industry. She'd been a creative director for huge companies, created assets for very well-known businesses, and ran big campaigns for decades. But she was holding herself back too. She too needed an outside perspective to pull out all the exceptional elements of her own brand and connect them to the right clients. Before working together, she was so focused on building powerful brands for others that she put herself on the back burner. Because as a female entrepreneur, mom, partner, and many other roles we fill, we're used to being on the back burner and putting ourselves last. Lori had been working on the pieces when instead she could have been focusing on the big picture. But now that we've worked together, she can take her brand individuation guidelines and create something phenomenal and beautiful. So love it. Okay. Oh, love it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that was so tactful and true all okay. at the same time. I love it. I absolutely love it. Yay. Awesome, Amber. It's awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I am wicked excited about this. I just I need to dive into it and like really do something with it quickly, not wait. It's got to be done soon. She now has a new belief in herself too. And I'm so glad because she's truly talented and amazing asset for anyone she's a part of their team. In fact, she's so amazing that I've asked her to come on and we're now collaborating for the brand individuation process. She's now my right hand gal and she does the brand individuation implementation and design boost for my clients. I could share a dozen case studies with you like these. They're all amazing service providers who have really struggled to articulate their purpose and value. They've all felt like I've truly gotten to know them, their vision, their value, and their clients. They all have been absolutely amazed. That was great. Awesome. I felt like it was just right on where everything that I was feeling, but it just, it wasn't coming together. So I feel like yeah. you really kind of nailed it on the head. The common theme among these amazing women I've worked with is that this has allowed them to see their businesses, themselves, their clients, their vision, their value, and their potential in a whole new way. This is fabulous, Amber. I mean, I, like I said, I know I've been stuck in my own head for trying to figure this out for several years now. And yeah. I come up with little bits of it and I start working on it. When I try to go through like an a, you know, worksheet or an exercise on my own, I get myself hung up at, always at some point. So I value having your perspective. And um, uh, so this has been fabulous. Thank you. Thanks, Amber. And not only that, but they can take their brand individuation guidelines and share them with all team members to make sure that their brand is always in alignment with that vision. Like Pat, she had decades of experience as a speaker and coach, but no real clarity on her own brand and messaging. She had a lot of assets and resources to offer, but they were spread out across different platforms and mediums with no real connection. So people couldn't really get to know her and her big vision. I collaborated with her web developer and her visual brand strategist to develop a clearly defined brand identity and align it with a new platform so she could easily connect to those who needed her gifts. Now she'll share her brand individuation guidelines with her team members so that they can carry out that vision.
Your brand is the belief people have about you. People have to believe in something amazing to grow loyal to you, to work with you, and to buy from you. If your brand is out of alignment, then you're compromising your integrity and you're going to continue to struggle. The brand individuation book is the foundation for your brand. Everything you do in connection to your big vision will be developed from this point. When you're getting your brand logo and colors that you really should be having this because really this is, I feel like this is foundational. Everyone with a big vision deserves to have this foundation in place. You don't only get a transformation, you also get guidelines to make sure that everyone is on board with that transformation from here on out. So, no, this is amazing. So many people need this. Why, if I, someone had this first, then they could give it to here, to your social media manager, here to your, you know, graphic designer. Yeah. Here, it's, if you choose another copywriter for some reason, here, like, <laughs> and then everyone would be, if they're reading it, would everyone would be on the same page. You could literally have a meeting with your team and be like, boom, this is the page we're on. Yep. People who own agencies, right? Mm -hmm. They should, this should be something that they offer when they get a client who wants to do a launch of whatever, whatever. Okay, what's your brand style guide? What, I don't know, what? Okay, that's it. First, we're gonna, first you're gonna talk to Amber and you and Amber are gonna work this out and then, and then you could build a whole freaking funnel and everything that needs to go with it right off of this. I have worked with, have no one has ever had this for a while. Yeah. Nobody I know does anything like this for service providers. It's like having a therapist, a brand strategist, a positioning expert, a copywriter, and a friend all in one. A friend who believes in you and knows that you have so much more to give and so much more to get back. You just have to take that next step and make it happen. If you don't do that for other people, I know we can all cry together because I'm, I'm so serious about this. If you don't do that for other people, what are they leaving on the table? It's about time you find out what you might be leaving on the table now. Let's have a chat to see if this is right for you right now. It's time to get brand individuated.